Cruise news time, and I got some doozies for you today, including an American cruise company adding five new vessels over the next two years. Plus, which Florida cruise port do you think adds $6.1 billion to the Florida economy? And did you hear about the cat? A guest smuggled a cat on their cruise, and that cat became the target of a government targeted for termination. It's a, it's a feline tale. Cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Little Loca. I am your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face. For your face on a Thursday. Thursday, the 28th of December, 2023. And uh, I'm just holding on to 2023. It's almost over. It's almost over. But the cruise news keeps on sailing on. Sailing. Cruise news story number one. American Cruise Line, the largest small ship and riverboat company in the United States, has announced that they are building five new vessels to be deployed over the next two years. These new ship builds are a response by the company to the ever-increasing growth in the river cruise market. A report published this year showed the steady increase of the river cruise market, increasing by 12.9%, uh, increasing by $3.21 billion over the next few years. And of course, you see American Cruise Line responding to it. In a statement issued by American Cruise Lines, they said that in 2024, they would be operating 19 vessels that would handle about 90 to 180 passengers doing 50 itineraries domestically. These are itineraries that take place on internal American rivers and then also itineraries that take place along the coast. Do you have any interest in an American river cruise? Is this something you would like to try? Leave a comment below. Cruise news story number two, Carnival Corporation recently had their Q4 earnings call and an interesting nugget has come out of that communication. Carnival Corporation planning to spend $80 million to build a pier, a pier at Half Moon Key. Now, if you've ever cruised on Holland America or Carnival Cruise Line, you may have had a stop at this private island and you would know that the only way that you can get there is by water shuttle. That's what they call it. Or tender, if you're old school. The only way you can get there is to get off the ship onto a smaller vessel and then motor your way into Half Moon Key. Well, Carnival believes that if they spend $80 million and put a permanent pier at Half Moon Key, that they will be able to get more cruise ships there. It's going to be a pier that's big enough and well-equipped enough to handle their largest cruise ships. And this should mean that more people can visit that private island at one time. And so uh, $80 million, it's not an insignificant amount of money, but it's definitely an interesting piece of infrastructure that's being planned for Half Moon Key. Uh, I know a lot of people that like Half Moon Key. I've been there a few times. Is this one of your favorite private islands? I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Cruise news story number three. Have you contemplated it since the intro? Which Florida cruise port injects $6.1 million into the Florida economy? Well, it's, uh, it's the, maybe the second busiest cruise port in the world. Port Canaveral. I love this rock'em sock'em robot battle that's going on between Port of Miami and Port Canaveral. Uncertain uh, from any given round whose head will be popped off. Well, right now, Miami, let's just push it over the side. We'll talk about Port Canaveral. Miami, the world's busiest cruise port, but uh, Port Canaveral, no slouch uh, at all. And not surprisingly, it's been another record-breaking year for Port Canaveral. Some of these numbers are pretty wild. They saw 6.8 million passenger exchanges this year. They did $191 million of revenue. $158 million of that revenue came from the cruise sector. And Port Canaveral's got this interesting side business over there. They got themselves a side hustle because of their proximity to the Kennedy Space Center, to the place where they launch rockets. They also have a rocket booster retrieval revenue stream. This year, they retrieved 50 rockets and then 150 
50 other pieces of rockets, all contributing to that $191 million in revenue. And Port Canaveral is one of the largest job generators in Florida. 42,000 jobs generated because of the efforts of Port Canaveral represents about $2.1 billion in wages. And so, yeah, this all contributes to Port Canaveral's helpfulness when it comes to Florida economics. What say you? What's your favorite Florida cruise port? Miami, Port Canaveral, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Jacksonville. Where do you like to go out of? Uh, leave a comment below. Now, I got to tell you about this cat that was discovered on a cruise ship that was targeted for termination. But before I do that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. We just crossed another milestone, 239,000 subscribers. That's, uh, yeah, uh, thanks everybody who is a part of the local fam. We would love to count you in that number as we make our way to 250,000. It doesn't cost anything. You get notified when the show comes out. Uh, please be a part of the local fam. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell. A big thank you in advance. Now, I'd be much happier if this next story was about Felicia Hardy, the, the black cat. And it would be great if I was telling you some caper of how this cat burglar was trying to steal something off Royal Caribbean's Jewel of the Seas. But that ain't the case. It's about a cat named Ovi that some owner had snuck onto the ovation of the seas. The details on the sneaking on are a little uh, still shrouded in mystery. A lot of this information is coming from the CEO and president of Royal Caribbean International, Michael Bailey, who said that they believe that maybe a sedated cat had been snuck on board undetected by security only to be discovered by news Zealand officials who really don't like cats. It's not it's not fair to say New Zealand officials really don't like cats, but there's rules. You can't bring food and animals and other things into New Zealand when you are cruising from abroad. You know they don't even like barnacles and mussels on the outsides of the cruise ships. Cruise ships turned away from New Zealand just for having barnacles and mussels and organisms on the outside of cruise ships. So you could imagine uh, the fur that was raised for no pun intended. You could imagine the fervor, fervor, I don't know. You could imagine the hubbub that was raised when New Zealand officials uh, doing searches of the ovation of the seas found an undocumented snuck on cat. And well, the protocol there is to, uh, to terminate it. Uh, to euthanize it, to uh, let the cat go bye-bye. But fortunately, I'm not here to tell you a cat termination story. I am here to tell you a cat adoption story. Royal Caribbean working with the authorities in New Zealand to show that this cat is quarantined and isolated, that it's out of New Zealand, and then eventually Ovi the cat becomes an adopted cat for a family in Miami related to the crew members on board the Ovation of the Seas. It, it opens a lot of questions. Again, who's the jackhammer that smuggled their cat onto a cruise ship and then leave it there, not only, you know, putting it in jeopardy. I really hope they find out who it is and that that person is dealt with. We don't really need that kind of thing in cruising, blatantly sneaking your animal on board and then leaving it to fend for itself. Uh, not cool. Not cool. The real question I want to leave you with is what's your choice? Is it the black cat from the Marvel Universe, Felicia Hardy, or is it Catwoman from the Batman DC Universe? The answer to this question will let me know whether or not we can still be friends. Boom, that's your cruise news. Thanks for checking the show out today. Hope you have an awesome Thursday. It's Tony for La Lido Loca. Till the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Cruise news.